Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Ripping off flare, but I'm not yelling shoe. Academy. Gonna be doing a little bit of a challenge here. We're at Academy. Doing a bit of a, a challenge video today. We not that we're gonna do our go-to lure, but we're gonna go in here. We're able to pick one lure each and stick with it, like whatever we think is gonna work today. But the catch is we don't know where we're going yet or what the conditions are going to be like there. So we're going to pick the bait and then we've got all these ponds and creeks and stuff in a randomizer. And then we're going to go, you know, pick a random one to go to. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to pick yet, but I think he's got an idea. So we went in there, picked out the baits already, but the catch is like we can only pick one bait that we think is going to work, but we don't know where we're going. We don't know what the conditions are going to be like. So we're going to pull out the randomizer here in a minute. Actually, let's do the randomizer now. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Hopefully it's still loaded, still saved. Ooh, just got still safe in the back. <laughs> Okay. All right. This is where we do the randomizer to pick the lake right. we're gonna. This is. I'm gonna do it five times, and whatever number one is, that's where we're going. There's one, two, three, four, five. What's it say? The Ingram Trailhead. Oh, dude, we're right here. Too. That's. I mean, it's close by, and. Uh, to be honest, I picked out the perfect bait for that place. I did too. <laughs> so, but uh, I already know Ingram Trail. Ryan. Now, what's going to make it difficult is all the flooding and everything that was there last the last couple of weeks. The flooding, not that, just the flooding, just the fact that it's Grind City there, man. It's freaking yeah. struggle city. So I'm sure the water's recessed by now. It's back down, but who knows? It could be chocolate milk when we get there. Uh, I really, Although when we passed it up over there, it looks like it was fairly clear. We might be all right. Yeah. So. Dude, man, I, I literally though picked the perfect <laughs> bait for, the, for this one. So. Uh, did, you, uh, did you reveal your bait yet? No, I haven't. I'm about to do that right now. Okay, hold on. The big so. reveal. I decided to go with a uh, big surprise, a paddle a rib swim bait. That's a Kai Tech. That's a really good which, one. I don't know if this counts because like this is what I'd be using anyway. <laughs> out of my own gear. Yeah. Well, you said it's not a good go-to. I'm treating it as a go-to, but yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's. A go-to depending on what they have. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. like, uh, you know, like from what's available, pick the one thing that you're gonna stick with. So, and let's see. I got the uh, Z-Man uh, Pro Shroom j jig heads with the uh, weed guard because I I'll, I lose those things left and right. And then I went with the Yum 
uh, the Yum Dinger uh, Ned because I just wanted to try Yum. I always I always try Z-Man, and uh, you know, so I want to give Yum a shot. I like it. It's a good affordable bait, and it's you know if you don't want to go out and spend all that Elastec money. <laughs> Yeah. You know, good. and I like yum. They're good. It's gonna be durable, not quite as durable as the last tech is, but it's gonna be. It's. I mean, the, it's it's worth what you pay. The big thing. Sure. The big thing for this in the summertime is just the movement. I hope it has decent movement, because you yeah. know, in the summertime, you want a bait that moves a little yeah. bit better, wiggles a little bit more. Well, now we're gonna get to the creek. Okay, got my pliers, got my knife. Oh yeah, we got a set of set an alarm a time limit yeah um like i said we want to get out of here by four so what time is it now two two so uh, you want to get your hours? yeah we'll set the alarm for four or actually i mean really I mean, since we're so close we could actually fish till five three hours would work a lot better yeah yeah because like i just gotta drop you well yeah you're at my yeah literally yeah, yeah. i mean and we're minutes away from my house so yeah we can actually really push it. and I swear that was random um, um there's little creeks the sort of creeks around this little area you guys just gotta hike around find yeah probably about halfway between here and Ingram there's a nice little deep hole with with some fish stacked up in it so but at least they were before the flood so yeah, we'll we'll find out today <laughs> the 256. Yeah. Water down there. surface too that was crazy and he took my bait those are way too damn expensive for you to be eating like that man this guy is feisty no i don't know where, where my bait went it's just gone he hit it and my bait disappeared that was a nice little explosion i thought he was gonna be a lot bigger than that I was trying to get a nice uh, graceful release right there and he flopped out of my hand. So I've got one, but it's just a little one. And we're not doing a numbers game, we're doing the size. So whoever has the biggest single fish wins. No, I, honestly, that's probably the smallest one I've ever caught out of this creek. We might have to go back that way to get down, but, or maybe right here. A little steep for me, but I'll let you go first. <laughs> that didn't help me at all. Like, you know, there's definitely fish hanging out in these rocks. So there's baby bass right there. Are you kidding me? What'd you do? Dog. How your, did that happen? Your real bro your handle broke off? Yeah. It broke off or it just came unscrewed? I think it came unscrewed. Are you kidding? That's weird. like that but if i catch a fish i'm gonna have to it's gonna be weird oh i got one oh. yes <laughs> accidentally i wasn't even paying attention and he shook off my bait oh dude and look at how good of a oh dude <laughs> oh that's awesome tell you what i'm up too i can let you borrow my rod oh no 
I could, well, cause let me try to find this. That's a nice fish. He came up right off the wall too. Oh, of that drop man. there. I thought I was snagged for a second. Let me see if I can actually. I think. Uh, maybe when I jump. Maybe. That's that, or it's up on the trail somewhere. Yeah. You found it. All right. Now, what about the end cap? Oh, okay. Well, then you're good. <laughs> okay, we were a little distracted here because Drew's... Oh, the end cap is on it. Drew's reel is missing the handle, which he just found. <laughs> and while we were looking at this, I got a fish. <laughs> uh, probably a one-pounder, a decent one. Now, it's still not a difficult one to beat, and I think you, you can still... You still got a shot. <laughs> But what's frustrating to me is these swim baits, five of them cost m like two thirds of what a pack of 50 of the ones I usually do use cost. And I've caught two fish on them and both of them shook the baits off. So it's, Kitex are, they're kind of like Yamamoto's. They're, they're more effective than other baits, but they're just not durable. They, they shake off. So, I do, I think I do have my other ones on me. I can do like a comparison. I'll do that later. Later, I'll do a comparison between the two. But the other ones, like these also, like Yamamoto's, have like an oil and a salt to them, which my other swim baits don't. But like I said, the big, the big issue is these keep getting, getting pulled right off the hook or shaking off. Because that's... Two bites already, and two baits. That's, that's not a good ratio. Oh, there we go. Nice, dude. That's, oh man, there's another big one right behind it. Oh, shit. That was even bigger. That was the big female, damn it. And this one, this one lost the, oh, dude. this one lost the bait too. And, ah. So, and there was a, that one behind it was at least two pounds. This one's a little bit longer, maybe an inch longer than my last one, but I wouldn't say he's any heavier. <laughs> well, and they chased it up through the crevice right there. It's very clear. Uh, it's very clear. <laughs> um, Who the winner is? Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't even decide what the loser was going to do. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> ah stuck me with this fin Dog, he caught three of the biggest fish in this and still all three of them put together would have been maybe equal to that other one that just came up with it Damn. there you go it's chilling out right there i do not like how I'm losing baits on every fish though. That's not, that's not good. Oh, had a hit there. Is he on it? Got him. <laughs> that's not gonna help me win any tournaments. No. But you know, they got nowhere to go there. So I'm gonna let him go on this side. Just a, so we can yeah. drive. <laughs> oh, what? Are you kidding me? That was a cichlid that came and grabbed it, and he pulled it off, and he's still eating it. You know what? I'm gonna do a, a comparison now. I'm gonna throw a runkle. Where if I catch anything on it, it won't count. But well, if it's a swim bait. Well, no, but it's not the one that I, I the, it's not specifically the one I went with. Okay, so I've got one fat Kitek left, which these are fat. They do have a really wide profile when they're in the water. It's comparing it to the Runkle here. The Runkle is definitely stiffer and the Kitek definitely has more, like moves easier, a lot more uh, movement. But, I mean, they're the same size. 
pretty much the same color there same size tails the Kitek is a little bit fatter and it's got other hook slots in it for uh, like Texas rig and all that big it's fatter bigger around but they're pretty much the same size it's a little bit longer but I can definitely feel a difference here like the Kitek's a lot oilier a lot softer a lot saltier but the Runkle's pretty close pretty similar well challenge is over who, who won drew yeah i think we know <laughs> you so now now i get to choose what i want right <laughs> iron fist. Yeah, what, uh, I, yeah you know what i think i think the loser should buy the winner some gatorade fair enough <laughs> i was gonna stop and get water anyway yeah yeah that was that was quite the thrashing so <laughs> You should have at least caught something though. I don't know what was going on. That is fire, man. Let the truck air out. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta let those those heat demons out. I don't know if I would have But again. <laughs> I was thinking more, more in terms of like I said, like the go-to, the confidence bait. Yeah. Well, I mean, I ended up doing that anyway. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there was no guarantee that your go-to confidence bait was going to be at the right at the store. So it was basically just out of their selection what they had, which they were sold out of a lot of stuff. They just happened to have what we wanted to begin yeah. to begin with. So. I I would have thought at that I would have thought at a creek or whatever like the Ned would uh, really down below. But like you said, I think they really want to chase. Yeah, maybe the, Ned, the Ned's more of a pond or a lake bait. No, honestly, it does good in the in the creeks and, and, and rivers. It's yeah. just, I think that, uh, um, I think today, man, like, I don't think they wanted anything, like, stale. Like, I think they wanted a freaking disturbance, that little vibration. Kitex, they, they work. They work very well, but I did not like the durability of them. I had a major issue with the durability. I went through that whole pack in less than three hours. Ugh. And I only caught like four fish out of all of them. Like I did not catch more than one fish on on a single bait. Like every time I caught a fish, I had to get a new bait, check them all off. That's how they, so, that's, that's how they stay in business. Yeah, No. <laughs> but I mean, they work. Yeah. I just think, you know, there's there's cheaper options that are just, just as effective. Yeah, to where they're not so, like just falling off the freaking yeah. hook like that every. So, okay. wait, wait. are you going in or? Yeah, I'll go in. Okay. Uh, Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>